Hello, howdy, ham ha. What? Okay. <laughs> uh, hi. How are you? I hope you're doing good today. Um, I hope you're having a good day. If you're not, I hope sitting and listening to me ramble about Italia, which is what I'm gonna do, uh, makes you feel better. Cause I'm here to make you feel better. I don't know how, but yeah. <laughs> God dang it. All right. So. I decided that the way that I'm going to talk about old fandoms that I was a part of and kind of have moved on slash just old fandoms in general and my experiences in them, the best way to do this would be a speed paint redraw of old art. And the one that you see before you is kind of a five part thing uh, based on something, based on a comic or doujinshi that I had read. Um, I don't remember the original part of it. It's a three part comic. It was an American comic called Miracle of a Superhero. And I don't know, it's just probably my favorite um, Hitalia comic out there. Uh, and I read a lot when I was younger, so it's whatever. The Miracle of a Superhero is not explicit and it has like some kind of gore, but the, 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 the tragedy of a superhero, I, I wouldn't, I, it's not, it's good. It's just, I wouldn't recommend it for kids. Yes. <laughs> Which, by the way, my channel's not for kids under the age of 13. I, I tend to curse. That's just who I am. I'm sorry. Do as I say, not as I do. Anyway! <laughs> uh, I tell you, okay? So, we're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it. You're not gonna talk about it, you're gonna listen. Unless you muted it. So, if you did, you're not hearing any of this. Which is cool! You can totally listen to music. That's okay. And I, you know what? I like watching people draw. So if you want to mute this, go right ahead. But now I'm going to talk about Hitalia. <laughs> All right. So Hitalia, there's two things that like really were important for me and Hitalia. It's one of those shows that I really wouldn't want to take back um, ever. But it's also a weird time. Uh, it wasn't the worst. It was definitely my first really big leap into online fandoms, and that's because I joined Tumblr because of Hitalia. There was a doujin she that I really liked and I wanted to kind of keep track of things and I was like, oh well, everybody's on Tumblr. I didn't join Tumblr until college, so yeah, that's a thing. I was more of a guy online person. Oh god, god. I did forums, that's a thing. That's a thing of the past. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I joined Tumblr and then because of the show I also met my best friends and when I say like best friends they've been my friends since 2012 and the thing is at the time when I was like just getting in, out of college or out of high school and stuff like I thought my friends in high school we'd be friends forever or whatever because like you know we hung out all the time but that's because we saw each other every day and since we didn't have to see each other every day we didn't really hang out so these friends I met at a convention and we just stayed friends for fucking ever to this day I still love them to death I would die for them I would kill for them I would do anything I literally drew a comic about one of my friends and how like my friend Sabrina was like, no offense, but I would die for her. And I was just like, no offense taken. Fucking same. Anyway, <laughs> um, throw that on the screen, right? <laughs> uh, no, okay, so that's those are like the big things for me and Hitalia. And um, there's like one other thing which I'll admit to because I feel like people always assume the worst things whenever I say it and I don't know hear me out before before you click off and say that I'm a garbage person okay I used Hitalia as kind of a helper to studying 
Okay, before before I know I can feel the cringe. It's past chotch. It's okay. If you're cringing right now, that's okay, I understand. But hear me out, okay? Just hear me out. I'm a visual learner. These characters are very, very different. Or not different, but you can take like the headcanons or you can take what happens in history and apply it to these characters and for me, imagining people is a lot easier than imagining giant land masses attacking each other. <laughs> so just take that into account. And you know, whether it was great or not, it's up to you. But none of my teachers ever asked about fun facts because that's what the show was. It was fun facts. It was never actually fact, okay? Don't don't take what happens in Natalia as fact, that would be dumb. There are some things that are based on fact, but no teacher is going to ask you about why America dropped condoms over Russia. It was to try and demoralize them during the Cold War. That's true, by the way. I can find the did you know. There it is. Edit that in, future chotch. <laughs> God, I'm going to hate myself. Uh, and yeah. And there were some bad moments. There's some really bad stuff about it. I was I was there during the shipping wars. Oh boy! And as you can see, my favorite character is America. And I can be a sheep sometimes and like the same things that everybody else likes. So if you knew anything about Hitalia during that time, you would know that the top ship was USUK. Yeah, I was one of those shippers. Yay! Okay, I really wanted to find an old post that I had made where I was just like, blah, 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 blah. this is this is why the ship is okay, and I couldn't find it because I deleted it. Which you know, hindsight, that's probably for the best. But there was a post that I had seen that I was just like, oh, these are all the reasons why this is bad. It's really not good. And you know what? Now I really wish that I had never made that post, and I would, uh, I would hope. To apologize to that person because honestly when I was in college I was a kind of garbage person that's okay to though because people people grow you don't stop growing like mentally until you're like 25 I'm 26 I'm fully grown now I think I hit that 25 range before <laughs> I fully yeah okay uh, but I I'll admit that I wasn't I was one of the problematic people in the fandom I was kind of weird. Not weird. Being weird's not a bad thing, okay? I was kind of one of the grosser people. I said some things from the show that were really bad and I, like, ah, that's my table. Ow. I'm fine. Uh, I said some things that definitely my friends were like, hey, probably don't say that. And I was just like, lol, for the lols, lol random, am I right? Insert that character from Helsing Abridged. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, um, I kind of fell out of Hitalia, uh, around 2013, I want to say. I say 2013. No, actually 2014. I want to say it's 2014. Uh, because there wasn't really any new updates and, you know, there's, if there's nothing new, even if I'm hyper fixated and I'm obsessed. There's only so far I can go with things, especially if my friends aren't into it anymore. So I found other things. And that thing was Welcome to Night Vale. And I think that was true character growth. <laughs> no, I mean, you can still be problematic and be part of the Night Vale fandom, that's true. Uh, but recently a friend of mine, um, she mentioned that she watched the show again and I ended up rewatching Hitalia Paint It White and it's a really good movie if you're an America fan because he has this really badass moment where he punches things and then he does backflips like could we have gotten more of that in the original show? Probably not because the animators were the greatest. Hey let's whitewash Shelly Chellies! <laughs> I watched it and I was like oh shit I still like the show. Like, I like the show a lot. I still like the show. And I can just enjoy it and watch clips of it and think it's really funny uh, because it's funny. It's a funny show. So long as you don't take it too seriously, okay? 
and you can tell that the voice actors had a lot of fun doing it. So I can't say that I'll ever get back into the fandom. I try to kind of enjoy things in a bubble now because it's really, it's a lot more fun and I get a lot less like, I don't know, people yelling at me for liking things because I sometimes just like things and it's okay to like things. It's okay to like problematic things. Just know that they're problematic and be like, yeah, no, it's not good. But I still enjoy it. There's certain things probably you shouldn't enjoy, but I'm not gonna be that person to tell you what's good and what's not. Also, the fan base is um, a lot younger. I mean, it's always been kind of a fan base of teenagers, I guess. And I'm not a teenager. Um, I. Nothing, nothing against teenagers. Oh my gosh, there's like a quote from Cecil where he's just like, when, when adults say teenagers, we're not talking about current day teenagers or teenagers that we see on the street. We're talking about the teenagers that we personally were. And we sigh over that because we were garbo people. And if you're a teenager and you're not a garbo person, that's cool. I'm glad. I'm glad that there's some awesome people out there. I know there's some awesome, there's some really cool, awesome teenagers out there. Uh, cause I worked with kids. Shout out to you. Especially. You're probably not gonna see this. I mean, like, how fucking you see it? <laughs> anyway, but, um. You can totally enjoy things. And you can totally just have fun in your own bubble and share stuff. And that's what I do. I draw stuff and I enjoy it. And some things I'll be like, oh yeah, that's not a good thing. I'm gonna take that into account and be like, okay, I'm gonna just back away. I'm not gonna cancel it. I'm not gonna tell like every single person that, oh, just think, did the thick and I'm gonna hate it forever. But you know, I'm just gonna be like, you know, this ain't my thing anymore. And Hitali's kind of like that. It's not bad. In fact, it's, it's still pretty good. And if you've never seen Italia, I'd say give it a chance. Go in with an open mind because it can be racist. But it's kind of racist against everybody, and I've had a good laugh. And there's really dumb things, like MUSTACHE! And also, the guy who voices Russia, Jerry Jewell. He's also Victor, from Yuri on Ice. He doesn't change his voice. Anyway, so hi, thank you for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me draw and try to figure out Krita. Um, anyway, um, if you like how this is done, let me know. If you want me to do something different, let me know. Uh, anyway, like, comment, let me know what you think. I, I need to know what you guys are interested in seeing me do. I have ideas, but which ones are working for you? Okay, thanks. I'll see- I'll see you probably never because I'm a voice. You don't see voices and I don't- I don't see viewers. <laughs>